Hello everyone, I'm Jia Wei Gu from Human Computer Interaction Group in Microsoft Research Asia. Nowadays, in Windows 8 Modern UI, the left tiles right on your start screen get you closer to the things that matter most. Though, it only allows user to receive glanceable dynamic information from favorite apps, like that. Different with the current live tile, in this project, we designed the interactive tile, which enables users to manipulate the live tiles in an interactive way with touch gestures. We aim to provide a seamless experience in the start screen across all the Microsoft devices. Let me introduce some details of our designs through live demos. Now you can see here's the live tiles in the start screen. But what we did design here, new interface, we can expand this into this view. It's an interactive tile view. So you can see, we can see the old email list here as a notification center. In this way, we utilize the interactive tile as the notification dashboard of the application. This is one good example. Let me show you the mail list. <coughs> For example, I want to get into the specific uh, this email. I can click on it and directly go to that email in <coughs> view. Otherwise, I can also go to another one directly to that email. What's more here, you can see this is our new design desktop like interactive tile. So you can see even the clock and the running app in the desktop. And also you can see here, all the running programming in the desktop model now is here. That's what amazing here because now in previous time, a lot of user feedback complain that the new Windows 8 stuff like make the Windows desktop model and the new modern UI separately in two or now we bring them together in this start screen. You can see the old running program here and even you can go inside of each of the program start right here in the desktop model. Even you can get back to see the others. For example, you can see the Excel form factor directly into the desktop model accessed by the start screen. That's the start screen of the desktop model, the desktop left interactive tile. So in this kind of way, we actually empower the modern UI as the main entrance of Windows Next. After this, let's introduce more exciting things here. So in order to enable Paroma tasking in the start screen, we actually have this kind of design to enable the Paroma tasking between the modern UI applications. For example, if I attribute this weather, you can see the whole week of the weather. You can go to each of them to expand to see different weather. Or you can directly jump into the full screen app to see the more contents in the full screen application. But maybe it's too much for you. You can get back to see only some different kind of day of the weather. In the meanwhile, you can also see the highlights of the news of the day and also the finance news of the day. What's more, you can also even play the music when you are checking the newspaper. Like, like that, this is your music playlist. And you can also expand this through this bar to see the lyrics and play the music like that. So I've leave the music here. You can do more things at the meanwhile. You can also start your calculator to do some calculator things on the start screen. You can do everything on the start screen now. Even you can take picture, capture the whole environment like that. You can capture it and it will directly show you in the picture place. So this is one feature of the Paroma tasking in the start green screen. In the other ways, we have also another Paroma tasking through the interactive tile with the full screen app or with the desktop model app. Let me show you here around in this PC scenario. So in this PC scenario, I'm going to show you another Paroma tasking feature. For the Paroma tasking, we have one more feature here, except the multitasking between the tiles. We also make the, it happens between the interactive tile and the full screen app. See here, this is in the de desktop model. We can actually use the interactive tile here in the sidebar. So the interactive tile here in the sidebar, you can actually use this one as the OneDriver. OneDrive, since you can drag the picture in the OneDrive, into the file in the documents. 
and directly shoot the picture into the here. You can edit the files through the interactive tile in the sidebar with the full screen app. So for the interactive tile, we have more benefits since here. For example, so for the Windows Phone and the slates in Windows devices, the third-party developer just introduced the design one version of the Windows Phone inter interface and then directly switch down to the interactive tile interface. That saves more cost for the third-party developer. So in this way, we can also leverage the interactive tile as the wormhole through the Windows devices. For example, not only for the third-party developers can save this kind of things directly from Windows Phone to the interactive tile, but also for the users, we have other benefits here. For example, if the user wants to check and uh, reply the information on the email, like the interactive tile, and uh, once time he wants to carry the information on the go directly move around, he can just come here and put the phone here and directly grab the information through the interactive tile to his mobile phone and grab it on the go to keep him typing away. So in this way, the Intel tile not only for benefit the whole start screen, but also benefit a lot for the next generation Windows UI through the like the Windows Windows Phone and Xbox, even the whole Windows device product. So through that way, I will say thank you for looking to my demos uh, and uh, enjoy this my talk. So hopefully you can also look for to get more contents through the URL, through the TechFest, and founding the interactive tiles here, and also visit my personal page. My name is Jiawei Gu. Thank you very much. Puedes encontrar más información en www.msftinsider.com y si te ha gustado este vídeo, haz clic en el botón me gusta a ver dónde está. Ahí, eso es. Y suscríbete a nuestro canal haciendo clic en el botón rojo.